I declare the ceremony open. We are delighted to have the President and Vice Chancellor of the Hong Kong Baptist University, Professor Alexander Y. J. P., to address the audience. President Y, please. Dr. Yacinto Tong Man Leung, Mr. Mokuchai Mafachinti, Professor Raymond Wong, Council Chairman, distinguished guests, friends, colleagues, alumni, and students. It's my great honor to welcome you all to the inauguration ceremony of Endowed Professorships 2022 at Hong Kong Baptist Universities. Today, we are delighted to honor three new endowed professors, Professor Gary Wong Ga Leung, Professor Ken Yong Gin Lam, and Professor Chen Geng Chang. Let's extend our heartiest congratulations to these top scholars as they are going to receive this most significant academic recognition. With their outstanding accomplishment and dedications in research and education, I'm certain that the university will continue to scale new heights and our students will be benefited accordingly. We would like to express our most sincere gratitude to the number of donors of Dr. Meng Man Hong, Endowed Professorship in Chemistry, Ma Park Leung Company Limited, and Professor Miran R. Wong, who has cast a vote of confidence in us by supporting Dean's Endowed Professorships. Please join me in giving our benefactors a huge round of applause for their tremendous contributions. In this era of complexity and change, universities have a critical role to play, which is to address global challenges by breaking the barriers to knowledge. With our commitment to excellence, Hong Kong Baptist University has in recent years strived to extend the frontiers of knowledge, especially through the development of interdisciplinary research and integrating creativity with innovative technology. For the purposes of strategic development, a greater emphasis has been placed on selected research clusters such as the creative media, healthcare, drug discovery, artificial intelligence, and data analysis. The goal of all these efforts is to create a welcoming and forward-looking atmosphere, one in which innovative teaching and research can flourish and thereby benefit society. As early as 2006, the USD launched the inaugural Endowed Professorship Schemes. The objective was to attract global top talents and to honor distinguished scholars as a way to build the capacity of our academic disciplines. And thanks to the efforts of our colleagues, the university has performed outstandingly over the years, winning an array of the world's top honors and patents, and making great strides in our groundbreaking research and deepening our intellectualization. The scheme also serves to encourage creativity and innovation in education, with a view to nurturing a generation of young talents who are equipped with the mindset, skills, flexibility, and adaptability that enables them to embrace and conquer future challenges. Every endowed professorship is an enduring tribute to the donor who has established it, connecting the donor to the university in a shared vision and binding partnership. Furthermore, the additional resources brought by the endowment help to drive the development of our teaching and research programs. In this connection, I would like to express my deep gratitude to all donors for their generous contributions, which have been a morale-building source of encouragement, as well as empowering the university to fulfill its academic aspirations and shine in the field of cutting-edge research. Thank you very much.
Thank you, President Wai. Dr. Mok Meng Hong, endowed professor in chemistry, Mok Men Hong Bok Si Fa Hok Gao So Zik, was established by various donors, represented by Dr. Yasino Tong Men Leung, Tong Men Leung Bok Si. Would Dr. Yasino Tong Men Leung, Tong Men Leung Bok Si, please rise? To advance the university's academic standards and schedule, as well as to make an impact on the community through knowledge transfer, the Baptist Chemist and HKBU Alumni Association initiated the move to establish an endowed professorship in chemistry in the name of Dr. Mok Man Hong, a former vice president administration and council secretary. Dean of the Faculty of Science and Head of the Department of Chemistry at HKBU. Alumni from the Department of Chemistry have done their utmost to raise funds for this endowed professorship in order to acknowledge Dr. Mock's contributions over the years and to continue his vision of promoting the sustainable research development of the university. The university also hoped that the, establish, the establishment of the endowed professorship in chemistry will help in the recruitment and retention of the highest quality scholars and also finance research to advance the frontiers of knowledge for the benefits of the wider community. I invite Dr. Jacinto Tong Man Leung Tong Man Leung Boxy, donor's representative, to receive a certificate of appreciation from the chairman of the council and the court. Professor Gary Wong Ka Leung is in absentia this afternoon. The citation on him will now be delivered by the interim provost, Professor Rick Wong. Professor Wong, please. Professor Gary Wong Ka Leung is head and professor of the Department of Chemistry. Widely considered to be a leading figure in the field of lanthanide-based complexes and materials used for fundamental photochemistry, spectroscopy, and bioimaging applications. Professor Wong has a remarkable record in producing innovative and cutting-edge research. Professor Wong's research directs towards developing biological applications that help in the diagnosis of and therapy for cancers. His team has developed a new Epstein-Barr virus, EBV, targeted therapy that specifically kills cancer cells without affecting normal cells. Another revolutionary invention of its team is a non-invasive urine-based prostate cancer detection kit that detects the biomarker effect by cancer cell with an accuracy of up to 90%. Professor Wong has also invented the lanthanide 2 box, a new medical imaging reagent that can detect Juberg syndromes and other genetic disorders accurately within a short period and a low cost. These inventions have won Professor Wong and his team a number of prizes at the Geneva International Exhibition of Inventions. He was also the founder of the new Life Medicine Technology, the first HKBU spin-off technology company to establish a research center in China's Greater Bay Area. Recently, a research project titled The Design, Fundamental Research, and Biological Applications of Fluorescent Small Molecules, led by Professor Wong, won a second-class award 
in the natural science category at the Minister of Education's Higher Education Outstanding Scientific Research Output Award 2020, Science and Technology. Over the years, Professor Wong's distinguished research has been supported by his success in securing more than 43 million of external funding and a strong publication record with more than 150 papers published in peer-reviewed journals. He also served on the scientific advisory committees of several renowned academic conferences. Prostate cancer is one of the most common cancer in the world today and my research is focused on this deadly disease. We have already developed a prostate cancer diagnosis kit. This is a major breakthrough for diagnosis of prostate cancer. This diagnosis kit is non-invasive. Most of the tests nowadays used in the hospital is blood tests. Our test is a urine test. It's convenient, quick and accurate. This urine-based test is developed from Chinese clinical sample only. This is the first time this has been developed in Hong Kong and the region. Based on this research, uh, we developed the BU spin-off company, New Nine Medicine Technology Company Limited. This company is focused on producing this test for a market. This test is now available in private clinic, and in the future, we plan to make it available in public hospital. Professor Wang is a world leader in lanthanide chemistry, with applications in photochemistry, spectroscopy, and biomedical imaging. His research is really unique in taking fundamental learnings and translating them into the commercial world, but also to society, looking for healthcare benefits. As well as being a professor, I'm also resident master in uh, Yang Ho. I took this role because I would like to connect the students outside the classroom and support them in this uh, difficult time. Dr. Mokman Hong was a leading chemist in HKBU for many years. I would like to thank Dr. Mok and all the donors for this endowed professorship in chemistry. I will use this endowment to continue my research to combat different cancers and diseases. Chairman, I present Dr. Mok Men Hong Endowed Professor in Chemistry, Gary Wong Ga Leung. Ma Pak Leung, Endowed Professor in Innovative Neuromedicine, Ma Pak Leung Chong Sen Sen Ging Yeok Mat Gao Sao Zik, was established by Ma Pak Leung Company Limited, Ma Pak Leung Yeok Chong Yeo Han Gong Si, represented by Mr. Mephichian, Ma Tha Yim Sin Sang. Would Mr. Mephichian, Ma Tha Yim Sin Sang, please rise. With a historical legacy dating back to 1822, the second year of the Daoguan reign in the Qing dynasty, Ma Pak Leung has more than 200 years of specialization in traditional Chinese medicine. Starting out as a simple drugstore in Foshan, Guangdong, Ma Pak Leung evolved into a pharmaceutical manufacturer which moved to Hong Kong in 1949 and was officially incorporated as Ma Pak Lung Company Limited in 1958. Today, it is the fifth generation of the Ma Pak Lung family that is in charge of the business. 
adhering to the company's patient first philosophy, Mapak Lung Company Limited provides safe, high quality medicines, not just to prevent and treat diseases, but also to enhance customers' health and well being. Mapak Lung continues to embrace its traditional wisdom while keeping abreast of the times. Through the establishment of this first ever innovative neuromedicine and adult professorship at HKBU, Ma Pak Lung joins hands with the university in advancing the frontiers of research and applications in neuromedicine with innovative concepts and technologies strengthening public health care for the overall benefit of the society. I invite Mr. Mafichian Ma Thayim Sinsang, Director of Ma Pak Lung Company Limited, to receive a certificate of appreciation from the Chairman of the Council and the Court. The citation on Professor Ken Yong Kin Nam will now be delivered by our interim provost. Professor Wong, please. Professor Ken Yong Kin Nam is Professor of the Department of Biology and Executive Associate Dean of the Graduate School. He is also the founder and director of the Golden. Meditech Center for Neuroregeneration Science. The research carried out by Professor Yong ranged from the causes of neurodegenerative diseases to advancements in innovative treatments for these diseases. He has published more than 170 international journal papers. In addition, Professor Yong and his team pioneered the integration of nanotechnology and nanoscience to accomplish a harvest of autologous neural stem cells from individual brain. This is the first ever technology that can safely harvest neural stem cells from individual subjects and deliver a replacement of neuron to subjects with neurodegeneration. This technology has gained over 13 patents in China, the United States, Europe, and Hong Kong. He has also engaged in advancements of stem cell engineering with application of inorganic nanomatrices. This technology revolutionizes traditional cell culture methods into a safer, swifter, and more efficient path for stem cell and engineering. It has been awarded over three patents in China, US, and Hong Kong. With these trailblazing inventions, Professor Yong and his collaborators have won over 40 international and national invention and innovation awards. They include gold medals from the International Exhibition of Invention of Geneva in 2016 and 2018, and gold prize in the Technology Startup Award under the fifth Bank of China HK Fit Me. Achievement Award in 2015. Professor Yong was a member of the International Brain Research Organization and sat on the expert panels of China's Minister of, Education, Minister of Science and Technology. He is past president of the Hong Kong Movement Disorder Society and advisor of Hong Kong Parkinson's Disease Foundation. The number of people in the world is increasing. Patients with neurodegenerative diseases are getting more and more. Our focus at Baptist University 
is to find cures for these diseases. My key research areas can be summarized as innovative neuromedicine. The reasons for these are we need to develop new methods to treat untreatable diseases. One key invention of our research is autologous neuro stem cell research. This is very important because we are trying to use patients' tissue or cells to treat their diseases. We have also developed stem cell engineering and inorganic nanomatrices to revolutionize stem cell technology. As a result of our research in this field, we have been awarded gold medals from Geneva Innovation Expo. Professor Jung is an enthusiastic and energetic scholar and educator. His success lies not only in his talents and capability, but also his passion for science. He never hesitates to share his knowledge and ideas with young scholars and students and help them to explore their potential. I would like to express my thanks to Ma Park Learn Company Limited with their generous donation of the endowed professorship in innovative neuromedicine. This endowment will lead to advancement of Chinese medicine in general for treating a lot of diseases. And I hope this will lead to young scientists and students to further their careers in neuromedicine. I believe one day diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's will be curable. Chairman, I present Ma Park Leung, endowed professor in innovative neuromedicine, Ken Yong Gin Lam. May I invite Mr. Mephishian to take a photo together with Professor Yong, please? Raymond R. Wong, endowed professor in media ethics, Wang Ying Si Chun Mui Lun Li Chou Sou Gao Sou Zi, was established by Professor Raymond R. Wong, SBS, Wang Ying Si Gao Sou, SBS. Would Professor Raymond R. Wong, Wang Ying Si Gao Sou, please rise? As the godfather of Hong Kong journalism, Professor Raymond R. Wong has a lifetime commitment to journalism. Professor Wong first began his career as a junior reporter in the United States after his completion of journalism studies at the University of Missouri in the 1950s. In 1966, he became a professional journalism fellow at Stanford University. Upon his return to Hong Kong in 1968, he worked for an English-language newspaper while teaching as a guest lecturer, guest lecturer at the then Hong Kong Baptist College. He later became a full member of the faculty. And in 1974, he was appointed head of the Department of Communication. With an enduring passion for the profession of journalism, his devotion for journalism education also knows no boundaries. In 2020, he generously made a donation of 50 million Hong Kong dollars to Hong Kong Baptist University. The biggest single gift a school of communication has, has ever received 
for establishment of the Dorothy Shan Wang Memorial Fund in loving memory of his late wife. The fund is designated for setting up the first ever endowed professorship in media ethics in Hong Kong, the first ever professional journalism fellowship at HKBU, and scholarships for students of the school. I invite Professor Raymond R. Wong, Wong Ying Si Gao Sao, to receive a certificate of appreciation from the Chairman of the Council and the Court. The citation on Professor Chen King Cheng, BBS, will now be delivered by the interim provost. Professor Wong, please. Professor Chen King Cheng, BBS, is Professor of Practice in the Department of Journalism. A distinguished media leader with over 30 years of experience, Professor Chen was the executive director and deputy publisher at the Hong Kong Economic Journal, which has been the most credible and influential financial publication in Hong Kong. Later, he became president of UJ Digital and spearheaded the transition of HKEJ from traditional print to digital channels, contributing to its impressive records of growth and success. Professor Chen, has assumed a number of leadership roles in the cultural and communication field. In 2015, he served as CEO of Hong Kong Association of Cultural Industry. In 2020, he joined AsianNet Communication Limited, a major consulting firm in Hong Kong, as chief strategist and then managing director. Apart from being a highly respected communication expert, a radio program host and newspaper columnist, Professor Chen is a dedicated educator. Since the early 1990s, he has taught both undergraduates and graduate courses in journalism and public affairs at various tertiary institutions. With a passion for education, he has served on a number of university panels and advisory committees. Since 2018, he has served as a senior consultant of the Hong Kong Chronicle Institute. Professor Chen has actively participated in public services. He was appointed by the chief executive of the Hong Kong SAR government in 2006 to the Committee on Review of the Public Service Broadcasting, which submitted a review report the following year. From 2010 to 2014, he served the Investor Education Committee and the Product Advisory Committee of the Security and Future Commission. In recognition of Professor Chen's outstanding professional accomplishments and remarkable contribution to the community, the Hong Kong SAR government awarded him the prestigious Bronze Bohemia Star, PBS, in 2010. The original mission of journalism is to inform the public. We require the journalists to be well equipped with professionalism and work ethics. Media ethics is a set of moral standards that guide the journalists how to do their daily work. 
Media ethics is important because we want journalism to be professional and trustworthy. It should be a basic training for um, every journalism student. After the online journalism emerges, now they focus on the immediacy. But I think the moral standards such as accuracy, fairness, balanced reporting are still the basic values that every journalist should uphold. Professor K.C. Chen is a well-established Valentine journalist. He achieved so much in many ways, like digital advancement, editorial management, his own opinion writings. He exercises his uh, social influence to help people understand the changing world. I have worked in journalism for nearly 40 years. I think I can bring my knowledge to share with my students and facilitate more discussion among my colleagues and the stakeholders in Hong Kong journalism. I would like to thank Professor Raymond R. Wong for his generous donation for the endowed professorship in media ethics. Professor Wong is a role model in Hong Kong journalism. This endowment will encourage young people to study at the journalism department at Baptist University and persist on the truth-telling road and keep up their good work in their daily news coverage to the public. Chairman, I present Raymond R. Wong Endowed Professor in Media Ethics, Chen Geng Chang. May I invite Professor Raymond R. Wong to take a photo together with Professor Chan King Chen, please. I now declare the ceremony closed.